ends too soon. It's the last day of the tournament. Articular where Yugi and Sasha Malkov are talking you through this. Sasha, big well, game. Yes, absolutely big game. We already know one the medal is the most important medal. The gold medal is Estonia with the win uh, two nights ago. And today it's going to be determined uh, who's going to get uh, silver and bronze. And uh, there's a chance for one team to maybe receive a bronze medal. It's uh, Team Great Britain. Yes, and uh, for that they need uh, the other teams uh, play correct results. But uh, from there uh, themselves, they need to beat uh, Spain. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, Spain is missing uh, two of their better players. Very good players, uh, Jaime Capillas and Liam O'Hare. I'm missing today. Capillas uh, injured and Liam O'Hare uh, sickness illness. Uh, he can't uh, participate. So, 18 guys out from uh, blue guys, uh, Team Spain and uh, Great Britain today in white jerseys. Starting uh, William Curlin, uh, their uh, younger goalie who started the tournament, is back in the net. And then uh, Raul Barbo has done all the tournaments for Spain. He will uh, start uh, for them again today. Well, we have, what, 40 seconds left before the puck drop. I'm sure it's going to be an exciting game. Uh, one team still fighting for relegation. Depends on the outcome of uh, other games today. So, desperately need to get some points here. Yes, and then the, the lineups are given to us. Uh, and the guys on ice are not, not uh, the same. Ah, uh, they are still, yeah, uh, check their wrong uh, jersey. Spain has changed their first defensive pair is Paul Duran and Aaron Sarimento. Forwards, uh, Juan Cerda, Alejandro Burgos and uh, Miguel Mendizabal. And Great Britain starts with uh, Hazeldine and Silver backwards. And uh, Brown, Kirk and Waller in front. And here we go, referee drops the puck, first win goes to Spain. Yeah, Keep Mendizabal is one of the best uh, face of takers in the tournament. And, and uh, he wins uh, once again. He and uh, Kieran Brown from uh, Team Great Britain have been the best guys on face-offs. And in point so far, I think it's Liam Kirk, right? And there's a chance for him and a save by the goalkeeper. And Raul Barba uh, makes his first save of the night. And, and uh, I believe there are many more to come. What's the what's the points right now? Liam Kirk in the first place so yeah. far? Liam Kirk uh, clearly leading uh, with uh, uh, five goals and seven uh, assists, 12 points. Plus eight uh, rating for him, uh, so he's a leader in all of those. Anybody close to him? Uh, Joshua Waller is second place, uh, four goals, four assists, eight points. And uh, Lucas Vasco you know, from uh, Team Lithuania. Oh, also. there's a chance for Spain, shot, oh, Ooh, goal, 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 goal. Uh, is that a goal? Yeah, what? it is. That looked like it hit the crossbar. No, no, it was a goal. It's, it's absolutely clear. The red well, light the... uh, was immediately there and then. And, and, uh, let's see the replay. And we were just uh, uh, taking you into the game uh, when um, Pablo Zabala uh, for Team Spain uh, opened the scoring. We'll uh, see a replay on our monitors. I hope you get it too. That is a shot. And I don't know. To me, it looks like it hit the crossbar. As we don't have a video review in this tournament, uh, when the goal is counted, then it's counted. and, and, and uh, Assist uh, goes to crossbar. Crossbar. It definitely Don hit the crossbar. Dorian Donat, but so beautiful crossbar that they are awarded but, a point. <laughs> but it's one nothing. One nothing. Uh, one nothing. Spain. Yeah. Pablo Zabala from Dorian Donat, and and uh, one to nothing. Forty-three seconds into the game. Yeah, well, uh, Great Britain has to recover from that unfortunate uh, turnaround in the game. I'm sure there will plenty of time left in this game. The game just started. Yeah, Alex Torres. Torres takes the time. Moving by the balls. Uh, British boys uh, get the puck. Here on Brown. Oh, there's a turnover. There's not a chance for Spain. But good poke check by Pound. Yeah, Burgos. Yeah, being pressured. Pound goes down. No whistle. And Spain has managed to keep the puck inside. Yeah, the Britons looks 
stunned a little bit after that uh, goal, but I'm sure they're gonna recover quick. Yeah, it's a Waller, Waller with the puck. Gets in the zone, looking, gets behind the net, pass in front, gets deflected. Spain recovers it. And Raul Parvo has had a nice start for the game. A uh, couple of, of uh, saves already under his belt. And There's then. a nice, nice pass in front, but uh, could not receive it. And we have an icing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and uh, as uh, we have been uh, looking for, for this uh, shot once again, it most, most probably never went in, but, uh, but I can remember uh, on my first uh, tournament with Team Estonia back uh, in 2018 in, in Herisau, where we played Poland, and Poland got uh, on 2-2 situation a goal like that against us and then we relegated so yeah unfortunately it happens uh, no it video is. replays here yeah. for the referees uh, there's a lot of video replays for us here in yeah. the studio but they unfortunately cannot uh, check and everybody's human yeah and then uh, now next year we have to uh, face Poland again in, in this uh, 1B division in 2018 was what, what, what other teams are there Ukraine, uh, Ukraine, uh, Poland, Italy. Uh, Hungary, Italy, and France. Tough opponents. Yeah, it's a good tournament, and, and, and like this one. And oh, the there's goal, a chance on goal. Uh, this uh, time, Raul Barbo can do nothing. The British boys uh, played fast, and and uh, and it's uh, Alderson, Mason Alderson who scored. No, Alderson made a nice play. Uh, Gulliver. Gulliver. Gulliver scored. Gulliver scored. Yeah, yeah. Harry and, Gulliver scored, but. Uh, Mason Alderson, uh, who has uh, had a little bit uh, too little ice time, I think, that, that he's really talented young kid. Uh, I expected, yeah, we see the goal of a goalie. Yeah, goalie, goalie couldn't do anything here. There's a turnover Nielsen. created in the zone. Kate Nielsen, sorry, Kate Nielsen was the one who scored number 16. Nielsen. 16. Kate Nielsen, yeah. yes. Mason Alderson gets assist, yeah. Um, yeah. And they're still in the zone, pound. And the scorer, uh, Kate Nielsen, is a player of Yarmouth Mariners from Canada. 180 tall and, and 80 kilograms weighing boy. You know that team? No. I was just trying to see if it says what league they're playing, but it doesn't say. There's a chance for Spain. Goalie covers the puck. Yeah, you can find that on, on uh, Elite Prospects, uh, all the... Yeah, all the information on the Elite Prospects, the clubs, stats, everything. And, and the leagues, and, and, and you can go and find there. They are doing a good job uh, there, uh, putting the information on these World up. And a nice a nice start. Both teams have scored uh, three and, uh, minutes and 18 seconds played in this uh, game. So, fast start and, and uh, a lot of action. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to see uh, more goals in this game. I, I believe that too. And well, one thing Britain needs is a uh, win in a regulation time. They need yeah. all three points. Yeah, to, to have uh, dreams of medal. Or actually, in a way, uh, it depends very much on what they say. Yeah, but it's, it's better do. to get yeah, all three yeah, there. Yeah, but uh, the more you have, the more possible it is. Of course, Cause. depends on the outcome of the last game yeah. today. If, if Estonia won't. won't give points to... Uh, um, well, I'm sure they're Romania. not going to give points. You know, yeah. They're still yeah. going to battle, for the, although they won. I'm sure they still want to win uh, every single game in this tournament. That would be a miracle. A nice one. And, and uh, today uh, we have two more games. Um, after this one, Lithuania and Korea meet and... Uh, it all ends uh, at uh, 8 o'clock. Actually, the British still have a chance to get a silver medal, too. Yeah, absolutely. Not only bronze, even silver. Yeah, and then... If every both Lithuania and Romania loses today. Yeah, and, and uh, every uh, one of them, uh, the Great Britain, Lithuania, Romania, have all the chances, uh, second, third, or fourth. So, uh, and somebody, day. Yeah, somebody, unfortunately, going to be eliminated. It's either going to be Korea or Spain. Depends on how they're going to do today. Yes, and, and, and if uh, Spain gets a... Point or two today, uh, they stand really uh, well, and, and if they yeah, get they actually they actually need just one point because uh, even if Korea wins, uh, they beat Korea in yeah, head to head. Yeah, Korea matches. can also go to overtime. So uh, actually, only uh, two points, uh, no, three points 
kind of guarantees uh, them uh, mm -hmm. absolutely for sure. No, a good chance, good chance by Spain. Or two points actually, because Korea can get three and uh, four overall. Yeah, c yeah. Uh, two points. The most they today. can get is four. So Spain, any kind of win today, and they are in for sure. They are most probably with a loss also, but we'll see. I Great think overtime, overtime loss or shootout loss can still get them a point. They yeah. have four points. Yeah. And even if Korea wins, uh, yeah. they still beat Korea yeah. in head-to-head yeah. head matches. So they need even only one point. Well, as it stands right now, 1-1. One, one. British boys are coming up. So Soldier. Soldier. Getting hit. Yeah. Now this is the cuff spot. Looking to pass. Shot from the point. Goes Locked wide. Away. By the goalie. And once again, uh, Jimenez tries to uh, uh, handle a British boy, but cannot do it. Alderson. Diagonal pass across. Looking beautiful, shot. Beautiful uh, pass. Yeah, good, good set up for Buesa, but goalie makes a uh, pet stop. Yeah, Jordan Buesa had a nice chance. Well played to him, but not this time. Raul Barbo is actually doing a good job on Spanish goal. Barbo is uh, so far fifth goalie by the save percentage, 92.09. Uh, so it, it's actually a good good result for a goalie also. And, and uh, uh, William Curlin, he has only to improve because his save percentage so before today was 55. Point fifty six and then first shot today also getting in or or counted in. Yeah, counted in. <laughs> okay. But now almost seven minutes played and then uh, the game is a little bit settling down. Both teams are trying. Spaniards Burgos. They get it back again. Mendizabal loses yeah, it. Yeah, turnover in the neutral zone. Howlett. Cochran jumps the puck in the zone. A little bit too hard. Gets all the way around to a Spanish team. Howlett puts on some pressure. And uh, from Spanish kids, uh, Ivan Emilio Royo mm, uh, handles it. Yeah, good pressure by uh, Britons in the zone. Not yeah. allowing them to uh, get the puck out of the zone quick and creating turnovers. Waller. First time of Great Britain is out there. It means Liam Kirk is circling there with uh, his buddies. No, Chad Smith is from a sentiment still out there. So, kind of mixed line. Yeah, Gulliver. Good. Now it's Harry Looking Gulliver. Shot block. We tried to give him the goal already, but uh, it was uh, Nelson. Yeah, it was number 16, not 15. Yeah. And great fit and defense well. But uh, Zabala, who, who made this one goal already, he's active today. Running with a good leg. Oh, there's a good chance, but he mishandles the puck right on the, s on the spot. Yeah. And uh, Curlin uh, gets some uh, saves too. It's, it's nice for him. We're happy for him. Duran. Paul Duran. Turnover once again. Yeah, but uh, British boys can't get it behind their puck. Also, uh, goal. Yeah, get the, zone and get the puck out of the zone and go for a quick line change. Shoulder. Liam Kirk. Tries a uh, pass across the ice, but gets deflected. And, and there's a chance. Take away. Shot. Score. This one definitely, definitely goes in. Yeah. Mendizabal, Mikel Mendizabal, number 24. Scores and then Spain regains the lead. 2-1 to one, uh, right now. And then William Curlin, for him this tournament has been a bit of a nightmare. He was uh, scored four times uh, in a first period uh, against Lithuania. And now he has uh, been uh, scored twice in nine minutes. Uh, and... Uh, Five seconds against uh, Spain. Yeah, nice move. He splits, uh, splits yeah. the defense. Nice pass. 
breakthrough and then Mendizabal capitalizes. Yeah, defense uh, went a little bit too wide from each other, allow him a lot of space to go through, just like it almost happened again right now. Yeah, and this time uh, they try to boost uh, Pablo Jimenez uh, slow, but again a little bit scoring uh, scoreline, uh, surprising scoreline. Um, out there, but Great Britain is coming, and Alderson is today in a big role. He he tries to make play after another. And the fourth line of Great Britain enjoys a lot of ice time today. Yeah, no time to be nervous for Great Britain. Just plenty of time. Although they got to tighten up uh, defensively. First uh, first goal, they allow. Well, I guess they counted as a goal. It was uh, a little defensive mistake there. Same thing happened in uh, second. Goal two, both shots when uh, top corner on the glove side. Yeah. And Spain once again has a puck. Misplays the puck in the neutral zone. Yeah, Burgos is but putting still advanced the puck forward. Mendizabal is uh, again in the center, Juan Cerda. And now they lose yeah. it. Good play by Allison. Pass to Howlett, chases the puck to Nilgate to icing. Gets the puck and getting hit. Spain recovers the puck. Yeah, and then with current score, Spain would uh, clearly um, guarantee their spot in, in the division as Great Britain, and uh, both would be out of medals. Yeah, but the only thing is we still have uh, two and a half periods to play. Yeah. Kind of quick, uh, quick three goals in the first ten minutes. Yeah. Great Britain. And then uh, blocked away, and then uh, again, time to cut Three against that. two. Serda. Serda looks for a shot. Uh, Try, tries the glove side again, but misses wide. Yeah. But it was a three on two situation for Spain. And Spain looks uh, really good today. Yeah, so they far. look motivated, uh, especially after the second goal they scored. They, I'm sure they're going to continue to put pressure on uh, Great Britain's team uh, net. Kelso. So fielder. And uh, Spain meets again. Uh, high stick. But Park played uh, with a high stick yeah. by Donut. Then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a face, face off. off. Yeah, no Center penalty. ice maybe. No penalties yet in this game. Yeah, and then uh, with the... Uh, center ice, center ice. Yeah. No, it can't be here because he played the uh, puck here with yeah. uh, high stick, so it has to go back, but... Gil, Alvaro Gil, defenseman on the, on the face-off. Spanish players have it, Rubio. Oscar Rubio gives a hazard a pass, and then the Brits uh, intercept it, uh, Gulliver. But uh, again, uh, regained the puck by players of Team Spain. Oscar Rubio loses it. But uh, Spanish boys are, are determined today. They, they fight uh, for every puck and, and, and they know that uh, uh, it's much more better to control their fate than uh, to rely on the others. And right now they are doing that. Moving over the blue, red, and another blue. Alvaro Gil shot, and then this time uh, cleared by William Curlin. And the first penalty of the game is coming, and it's coming against Spain. This is going to be an important penalty. Yeah. Kirk with the puck, looking. Pass to Brown. Back to Kirk. They get in the zone. Still going to try to play this advantage. Six on five. Goal is off the ice for the six attacker. Waller with the puck. Plays behind the net, looking for Kirk. Kirk with the puck. Pass across, back to Pound. Shot deflected, and there's a whistle. There should yeah. be the whistle. Yeah, but Spain, Spain clearly played the puck. Yeah, controlled the puck. Uh, had a control on the puck. So. Well, I'm pretty sure he controlled it because he tried yeah. to sh shoot it out of the exactly. zone. So but I would say that would be a control, but the referee did not think so. Kirk with the puck again. Yeah, he may, most probably saw that it was deflected. Now, from. now there's a whistle. Yeah. 6:20 uh, 
I think 32 remaining. Uh, our our Inter interference is a call. Clocks are, are not uh, synchronized right now uh, on TV. You see one time on the arena, the the more important clock is 632 still remaining. So I hope they they correct it uh, on your TV screens uh, also. And uh, Burgos, uh, Alejandro Burgos. He's uh, in the box for interference. And Great Britain has the first power play of the goal and the water of the game. And, and what a beautiful combination it was from one end to the other. And, and a nice shot, but Raul Barbo. Kirk uh, passing. And oh, goal. there's a goal yeah. by Waller. From the assist of Kirk. So number one and number two uh, guy in the tournament. Uh, Scoring uh, leaders standings uh, get more and more points. Point number 13 for Liam Kirk, uh, assist number uh, 8. And fifth goal of, uh, fifth goal of uh, Waller. Uh, now they are leading in this goal scoring uh, uh, standings with Kirk, both having five goals. Impressive, guys. 2 2 on the Scoreboard and six minutes remaining uh, in this uh, period. Harry Gulliver. Okay, no, no Waller, but Gulliver. Harry Gulliver gets the goal. We have some pro problem with vision today. Not seeing the jersey numbers well. Who did I say scored? Harry Gulliver, number 15. That's what they announced. Yeah, but we said Joshua Waller. 19 or 15. I hope I they... I think maybe, maybe you and me were celebrating already yeah. Estonian victory. Yeah. And uh, we don't have a clear vision in the eyes exactly. today. <laughs> so something wrong with our vision, but... but uh, hey, as long as the referee have... Well, at least we get the jersey colors right. So the <laughs> Great Britain scored the second goal. Well, two, yeah, we got that correct. Two to two so far. And Bradley. Bradley. Shot and then uh, saved by Barbo. Spain comes forward. Goalie, uh, curling goes down. He goes down really early every time, so... Another good shot and then blocked away by uh, British boys. They take the puck and control. And uh, well, I was correct. Number 19 scored. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, we just saw the replay. Yeah, you just uh, so our vision is uh, right. Our uh, vision is correct. Uh, correct. And just uh, like we saw in the first goal that the puck hit the crossbar. Yeah. So we can continue celebrating. Maybe maybe a referee <laughs> was celebrating too something. I don't know what he must have celebrated. The referee today is Robert Hallin uh, from Norway and the linesman uh, Sandro Gürtner from Switzerland and Cody Huseby from Canada. So Kirk with the puck, tried yeah. to split the uh, couple players, but being pressured and had to dump the puck in the zone. Yeah, and then the... Oh, good hit. And, and I think penalty. it's going to be penalty. And not the... Uh, uh, and well, I don't know. Me being a referee too. Referee called the interference, but there's a player's... You know, he played the body because the player's supposed to play the puck and the player stopped. So yeah. it's... And the puck was the there. The puck was right on yeah. his feet. Yeah. Easy call. Uh, too easily given. Uh, but they all count. So Spanish power play, the first one in the period one, 3.40 uh, remaining, now they have fixed the clock, clock on, on, on your TV screen also, we are in a, in a good time. Interference call, call on uh, Reese Cochrane. And Spain starting slowly to move on. A weak pass, and then and, and that's an inter intercepted by British. But uh, now the puck is going here and there. 
Well, first power play result in the goal. In the yeah. game, uh, there's a first power play for Spain. See what they can do. So far, they've been, you know, kept out of the zone. They cross the line, try to settle it down. But pass get deflected. And uh, Great Britain with the puck. And going to ice it all the way down to the other end. Yeah, M Mikel Mendizabal, he has scored once already. Today, he is with a puck. Can't score from that distance, of course. He'll have to go on. Work your way up. They have in the zone Burgos. Burgos uh, did, couldn't receive the pass, and then, then the, once again, uh, a lot of work to do. Two minutes and then 15 seconds uh, remaining in this uh, first period, and uh, Spanish power play. Fernandez is passing to Sanchez. Sanchez, sorry, not uh, Fernandez, but Sarimento to Sanchez. Uh, number eight, Sarimento. Sanchez, Sanchez loses it. Uh, Rubio is a little bit uh, passive in this uh, check, and then British boys don't have any problems with clearing that puck. Moving over the blue, over the red, and now in the Offensive territory, Paul Duran, Rubio, seems in full strength, uh, Fernandez. Uh, oh, get blocked, I think blocked uh, by his own player. Again, uh, Fernandez. Oh, Sanchez. there's a chance for Great Fermenta. Britain. Two, two on, on one, one, maybe two on two. Pass, and shot goes wide. Yeah. Calm uh, execution, but, but a little bit wide of the net. Alex Torres. Spanish boys uh, get the puck for a while, but lose it immediately. But linked by the board. And now the final minute of the first uh, period is starting. English boys get the puck. 2-2 two -two on, on the scoreboard. And uh, it has been pretty exciting first period. A lot of action, some goals, some penalties. What more do you want? Burgos. Well, I'm sure one team wants to be uh, leading in this game when the final whistle goes. Which one? Both of them. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, but uh, Burgos, Burgos is uh, with a puck and then right now half a minute to go. I guess both are more, more or less settled with current score. Burgos. And uh, they uh, have still some time. British counter ch uh, attack chance. Waller losing to Spaniards. Sarimento number eight. And here goes there. the first period. Um, a little bit exciting. You know, two to two, four goals. Uh, see if we can get uh, more goals. Yeah, we'll see.